Right, start with walkwee.com again. Scroll down to MicroPython. Let's just find a new project, ESP32. So it's got your basic setup. Let's go ahead and add the sensor. Boom. This guy's cool. You can learn about him if you want by clicking on the little thing at the top, little question mark, and it takes you here. And it says some things that you need to know, like uh, one voltage is your one pin is your positive voltage, your other pin is your digital data pin in and out. This one, actually your third pin, means it's not going to be connected. That's awesome. And then your ground. And the things you can get out of here are temperature and Celsius and humidity, which is the relative humidity in the uh, in the area. So, all right, let's start with this. Boom. So, like with any micro Python, you need to actually get access to libraries. So we will. This is a thing you'll see over and over again. Import pen. Actually, just pen it auto corrects for some reason. Import pen uh, from time. Import sleep. Import DHT library. Pretty awesome. All right, let's first kind of get them connected. Let's get some voltage. Go there. Let's get the ground up to here. And pretty much you can pick any pen you want. I'll just pick the closest one. Little 16, huh? All right, cool, cool, cool. So now that we're here, we're going to set up the sensor variable. And this is the object, actually, which is going to be sensor is equal to DHT, which is the library dot DHT 22, which is this 22. If you remember, when we look up here, it says DHT 22. Then we uh, have to tell it what pin it's on. And we said pin. 16, boom, 1, 6, boom, boom. Okay, and then the most important part is we have to make it do something because we do this right now, it's just going to read it and do it one time. So let's go ahead and just do uh, while true. Uh, let's go ahead and do uh, sensor dot measure because that kind of triggers it to do the measure. Now you can get access to all the stuff. Let's do temperature equals sensor dot temperature. Make sure you do that. Close, open and close parentheses, and then we'll do humidity. You can call it whatever you want. We'll just say hum, and then sensor dot humidity. All right, sweet, sweet. And then temp underscore F equals temp times. Well, and let's go ahead. It's in Celsius, so you can leave it in Celsius if you want, or uh, you can convert it to Fahrenheit, which we will do. Uh, and I usually do like the temp times and then it'll you know we can say 1.8 plus 32 I just remember that from my <laughs> I don't know why it's in my head and then we will do a couple of things we will print temperature and this is a common thing when you're trying to set up prints uh, you'll do this is the number of digits in the front and this is the number of digits in the back and F means float and then C is Celsius. Make sure I'm closing it out. Okay. And then percent temp. So basically it'll take that percent temp. That'll take the variable temp that you created up here and it'll print it right there. And then we'll print another line and this one will be temperature. And we'll do this in uh, Fahrenheit. Everybody do the conversion up top. And we'll say percent temp. F, there we go. Then uh, while true. And then print humidity, which is going to be a similar number. Percent 3.1. Float. Boom, boom. And then percent humidity. All right, so here we go. Boom. Get ready for the magic to happen. And you have temperature. And if you want to change the temperature, just make it go up like this. See, it gets hot in there. You make it negative. Change your percentage humidity. It's when it's raining. <laughs> and you're pretty much underwater. All right, here we go. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.